Let, let, let me just say this. See, what they think bothers me will never bother me. Ever. It will never bother me. But I promise you, I'm going to bother some people in a little while. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bother them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. And also, if you keep posting in someone's chat that you're the reason why I'm no longer on the board of a nonprofit, that means I have now a problem with you and possibly can come after you legally because I downloaded that video and I screenshotted that comment you should have never told her mm -hmm. never but told guess, her but guess what matter of fact both of you need to stop talking to each other because when y'all fall out because it's going to happen y'all going to use that shit on each other. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Offline. Mm-hmm. Learn a and lot of And by the stuff. way, both my jobs know about those videos, he said. So you better take that down. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, I gotta look at. I gotta look at it one more time. But can you put that offline back up there for for one moment? Mm -hmm. Daryl is not the only one doing things offline. Mm -hmm. So you don't think I'm doing something offline? But I am. And when I told you in my video from back in, I believe November that I would see you in court, I meant that. Mm -hmm. And all of y'all over there in her chat, are y'all going to be witnesses or co-defendants? It's your choice. Mm -hmm. Because my, my employers will tell me who sent the information and your name. So like I said, do you want to be witnesses or co-defendants? Offline. tell you the monster is one of my favorite you know the retro series they would put on oh my god and the reason why i love watching those reruns is because they always had these scammers and these schemers who thought they were smarter than everybody and they always got their asses kicked and put on front street in the end you just knew it was coming always some kind of trickery and lie and bullshit that's let me see your handcuffs now why is Tariq Nasheed up here on the screen? <laughs> because when I heard this clip of Let Me See Your Handcuffs, you heard it at the beginning, it prompted memories of Tariq Nasheed in his response to Umar when Umar was running around saying, you better not, you better quit talking about me. You quit saying my name. Remember Tariq Nasheed said this. Your fat fucking bitch ass name is in my mouth. Come get me. I'm saying your name over and over again. If you say my name again, your name again. Umar the big fat bitch ass nigga Johnson. Emphasis <laughs> on big fat. Yes, I am saying that. That's the emphasis. Listen, let me tell you something, Kimberly. Let me see your handcuffs. The only destruction you could do to me is crush me to death. And you're not going to get that close. I am so sick of you thinking you can tell anybody what they can say and do. This is the United States of America. You don't run anybody. 
You don't tell anybody what to say and your lying ass bullshit. Go right ahead. Like Tariq Nasheed told Umar Johnson, quit talking and do it. You've been saying this for five freaking months. You're saying it because you think you can intimidate people against filing complaints against you. You cannot stop anybody from filing a complaint. And let me make something else clear to people. She keeps mentioning her employer. Okay, why don't you get on to tell us who your employer is? Aldine Senior High School, Lone Star College, Houston Community College, and there are others that we are confirming. We don't have contracts with them. You have contracts with them. You're the one that's violating your contractual agreement for all the bullshit that you've been doing. Your employer doesn't have any control over us. And listen to her threats. My employer, they're going to tell me who's filing a complaint. Well, first off, you're not going to have any concern about that because I don't give a damn. If you know I'm filing a complaint to you, I will say this again. I have stated this the entire time I have been here. I do not file anonymous complaints. Why the hell should I be afraid of you? Will you really think someone's afraid of you? Is that your hope and your wish? Well, let me tell you something, people. If you thought you had it going on like that, you wouldn't be trying to get King Kong crazy to kick my ass. And that didn't happen quick enough for you. So what did you do? You put a hit out me on these YouTube streets trying to get these dudes to put me on the beat down. Yes, that's what Let Me See Your Handcuffs does. And she has the nerve to sit up here and tell people we can't speak freely. And it wasn't quick enough for her. She put all these hits out on me. They weren't moving fast enough. So what did she do? She went to Dumble Ding Dong and got him to get up there talking about rape and all this shit and got up in the chat and laughed about it. So you think you have the nerve to tell people we can't say whatever the hell we want about your lying, scheming, conniving, backstabbing, ingrate ass. We can say whatever we want about you and there's not a damn thing you can do. So ding dong, dumble ding dong went out threatening to rape me and all this other garbage. She wasn't satisfied enough. She wanted to see me out here, freaked out on the ground, kicking and screaming and crying and whining like she does. She didn't get that out of me. So what does she do? She goes and collaborates, encourages Dumble Ding Dong to piss the whoop Rev G. Yeah, you were fueling all this. All this garbage is because of you. You're spreading these lies. So what did he do? I'm going to piss the whip. Uh, he's going to piss the whip Rev G. He's going to get him on his knees. He's going to put a gun in his mouth. And that bitch out there in California, she's going to watch it. That's not good enough, so you're going to run him over with a car. See, this is the kind of crap that she loves, loves to hear. She has not, repeat, has not denounced a single solitary threat of violence. She applauds this violence. Let me tell you this, people. Let me see your handcuffs is so remote in her rational thought process that she gets on the internet and bigs up an individual who's threatening to slice me up and bleed me out and all this garbage, violent threats that the police heard on audio and went to the person's house that night. No shit was made up. It happened just this way. And this is what, let me see your handcuffs, applauds. And she's vocal about it and she put it on YouTube. You want to talk about capturing screenshots, you dumbass? Capture that. And guess what I have coming up next week? A hearing. Well, I will be testifying against this individual who threatened my life and did a bunch of other unethical, immoral, illegal acts against me. I don't even know who the hell this person is. I do not know this person. This person was making hundreds of videos about me. Wait, initially when I first heard about it, the person um, would made like 190 videos, almost at 200, and kept going, making video after video. No, you can make a thousand videos. You can make as many videos as you want, but you cannot threaten my life without me turning you over to the cops. 
I will do it each and every time. I don't even know this person. And this person is threatening me with lethal violence. Where in the hell do you get off threatening me? I don't even know who the hell you are. And she's a social worker. She says she's not a social worker. Your title is licensed clinical social worker. You are a social worker. That is your title. One thing I want to say is this about this whole scenario. We heard from people offline. Um, there was another situation with this person. I'm not going to get into that. I just thought about that. There was some bizarre occurrence. And it's just bizarre. And it's reflective of what goes on offline because we heard from people. They reached out to us. And this is a person who also came after Gerald. And he was able to get, I believe, two channels down. And you had, let me see your handcuffs on lines. Oh my God, he got your channel shut down. Oh, this person is just the worst. And let me tell you what's also, frankly, hilarious. She is habitual for talking about, you gonna fall out with that person. You and you fall out, what the, what the hell? All she does is fall out with people. And I have a video I'm going to be playing for you. Uh, oh, I, I don't even want to put on your, take three Tylenol before you hear this video. I will warn you again. It is just the mess that these people allow themselves to get into. I am not getting involved with that kind of crap. I'm here defending myself those I care about, those I support, those who support me. I'm not jumping up on these. It's just maddening these panels and these people want you to go up there and have a conversation. It's not a conversation. These people are completely enraged and it can't be about what's happening on YouTube. It's, this is spillover. You're going to be blown away. How in the world can you get up here on the international airways and act the ass? And unfortunately, it's a sad sight to see so many females out of total control. It's embarrassing, people. Yes, I like to prop my gender. I like to be proud of women. But my God, these people, the ones taking front and center, the ones who are giving the worst, worst example of black women, just totally out of control, screaming at the top of their lungs. They don't want to look a certain way, but they're up here acting the fool on the international airways. And then they want to turn around and act like you can't comment on it. If it's out here on the international airways, we can comment on it. Who says we can't comment on something that's public? Those videos and those live streams were running virtually like CNN news all day, every day. And who cares the circumstances? The fact of the matter, they were run. And the people were up there talking and running their mouths and doing it. People, I don't want to get involved with anything like that, which is why I never went on those panels. But they want to try to say, you're doing this and you're doing that. No, they're just trying to cover up what they did. Because when it's, the smoke clears, they're looking really ridiculous. They embarrass themselves and they're always trying to find a scapegoat to transfer all of that attention onto. And I'm not going to be that person. I'm just going to totally ignore if somebody's acting a fool on me unless they're threatening my life and I decide to say something, I'm ignoring the bullshit, which is what I've done 95% of the time that I have been here. But there are some things that just need to be cleared. And let me see your handcuffs. You don't decide what I'm going to do about making whatever I want clear. That is my decision. Your employers don't rule me. So you're lying about calling my job. He calling my job. No, other people were calling your jobs long before I even thought about filing complaints against you. You were messing with other people. So her claim that I'm calling her job just meets up with what she does all the time. Lie. Liar, liar, liar. And you hate the fact that I'm not doing what you're doing. You can't get anything because I'm not replicating your conduct, nor am I initiating any conduct 
like yours. Never called your damn jobs. Do you get that? I'm going to put it in writing. In writing with my name signed. And how in the world am I supposed to be scared of you? How? Can you explain that so we can get a mutual agreement as to what I'm supposed to be rattling my bones for over what you are saying and doing? My bones are not rattling. I'm not afraid. I'm not scared of you. You don't instill fear in anybody. You can't instill fear in people if you're sitting on a chat of a dude that says you'll just swallow a penis whole and you got a big mouth. Look at the mouth on that woman. Who doesn't have the self-respect? That would be you. So you look pretty ridiculous trying to threaten me when you're letting people walk all over you. Literally, just treat you like a dead dog. You're not transferring all of your frustration and anger onto me because I'm gonna bite back, I'll fight back. And I will keep fighting. You cannot stop me. You can't control what I say. I will post anything I want. You were kicked off the board, the program, whatever you want to call it. You were kicked off. Get it? Kicked off. Booted. Kicked to the curb. Because of the things that you were saying about breaking the culture of silence in another individual. It happened. So you crying and whining and running over to the portobello penis dude is not going to help you. Let me see your handcuffs. Has a nerve to come on here and tell people they're foul and out of line for writing the truth? Yes, writing the truth. Your ass was removed. You can be technical all you want. You were taken off of a board, of an organization, or whatever you call it because of your attacks on breaking the culture of silence in someone else. Now listen to this, people. She's saying, keep writing. And what are you going to do about us writing the truth in a chat? You can't do jack shit. You are writing a bunch of lies about people. What's going to become of that? And let me tell you something. She says that didn't happen. Are you, listen, are you listening carefully, people? She says it didn't happen. Have you ever known me to come on here? and say some shit that I didn't have 100% truth. Because a lot of you get the shit before I come online and I do a video. I've already sent you the evidence. Tell me a time when I've come on here and told that something existed that I had that was sent to me, I have in my possession, where I lied. Point it out, you stupid ass. You can't point it out, Kimberly Chandler. You can't point out a single solitary instance either. And look on the screen here. You want to keep calling me a liar? You want to keep calling me a liar? I believe you say these things because you want to see what evidence I have. I'm not, I'm not stupid like you. You are very unwise, the things that you have done. I mean, if I have done even one third of what you have done, I wouldn't have a license right now. They would have got my ass out of here long ago. But the key is, you haven't been able to get me to do what you did. I can curse. I can call people certain names. The names that I have called people, it's not actionable. Someone calling you fat is not actionable. Somebody harassing you continuously about whatever, you might have a situation. Who is harassing you? You're up here freaking telling all these lies on people. You went the whole freaking summer lying Video after video after video, demon fused live stream after demon fused live stream, talking your shit and lying on people. And you have the nerve to sit here and say, we can't speak on that. I'll speak on it whenever I want to. This is the first freaking amendment, which is not exclusive to you. Let me get, let me get back to this audio. Do you see here on the screen? What is it? 24 minutes and something seconds. Let, let me tell you something. You weak ass, pathetic creature. This video or audio is a teleconference of the conversation that took place between three people discussing what you did to them. Two people you attacked and one is the white lady, white woman, a white woman. You hear me? You, I'm still lying. Let me make a correction. 
they have this conversation and it's about not just what, let me see, your handcuffs did to these two individuals, but to a lot of other people. So I wanted to make sure that is clear. I don't have anything against white folks, but I do object to you trying to scare me with a white lady dressed as a man. What the hell is that? Like, I'm going to be, you really think I'm going to be afraid of that? What, what kind of methods are you thinking that are going to be effective? These aren't going to be effective methods at any rate. The white lady, the white woman whose company, board, whatever you want to call it, you were involved with, took your ass off because of the attacks that you perpetrated this audio right here, 24 mi minutes and something seconds, whatever it is, contains the discussion about what you did. And then you were removed. So what? Record the video and send it to 10 buck too. Where is that getting you? That's not going to get you anywhere. You have no evidence that anybody ever perpetrated anything against you that was illegal. There is no harassment. There is no cyberbullying. There is no lying. There are no threats. Nothing. You have absolutely zero. You cannot tell people they are prohibited from exercising their rights. Let me see your handcuffs really thinks she can sit up here and tell people they can't speak out against the garbage that she perpetrated. You're telling me, let me see your handcuffs, that Gerald Palmer is rendered silent over you facilitating a two hour plus live stream where you allowed people to flash his photo as avatars and speak about the sex life of Gerald and his wife. How the freak would you know about their sex life and allow that Anthony Okafor to get up there and say she needs her back broken because Gerald's not a man and you let Carrie Ann run up there and call him a child molester where the hell do you get off thinking you can shut us up you can't shut us up every single one of us including Mookie hats off shout out to Mookie you absolutely verbally abused him and other people because of their disability status. And you are supposed to be a teacher. And then you get up here and tell us that we can't talk about your ass. There is nothing that you can do. Zero. You're filing all these complaints. My question is, why didn't you go the legal route to begin with? You should have filed complaints on my videos versus trying to get KKC to kick my ass and get these other dudes to beat me down. You went illegal first. You went illegal first. The closest you got was Dumble Ding Dong, and he is the one that's facing criminal charges. What do you think about that? You want to talk about a witness, your ass will be called to testify in a criminal trial because you were right there egging it on. And we're going to find out exactly what your role was in getting those threats facilitated. You wanted us threatened with violence. You weren't able to get it done quick enough, so you went to Dumble Ding Dong. You went to someone with a criminal history because you thought you could get away with whatever you thought you were going to get away with. But what you're doing is conspiracy. So you're trying to threaten people about, are you going to be a witness or a code of You have no freaking case. The person in federal court has no freaking case. She has failed because there are no threats of violence. You can't tell people they're unable to speak. This is YouTube's domain, a video sharing entity. You can't even get the damn videos down. You're getting videos down because of your... Your mug is shown. Your mug is shown. How many people? I have no strikes. This is what you're trying to do. You're trying to shut me off of YouTube. You're trying to get people to kick my ass. And you have the nerve to sit up here and say, you're being harassed. You lie so much. You are cruel. You are abusive. You sat up there. And by calculation, you in essence said, breaking the culture of silence had a kid when she was eight years old. That's the math. That is the math. That is your funny math, just like your marriage and the funny math. And I'm putting that video back up, just like I put the other video back up. I'm putting the video back up about your sham ass marriage. You sat here and you told the world and you laughed that breaking the culture of silence in essence had a baby at eight years old. And you're saying she was a foster kid. She didn't have a child at eight years old. She has two children. She did not abandon any children anywhere. You're slandering people.
and you're spreading this shit around and you gave it to Dumpsy and Dumpsy, your ass is grass because that shit's being turned in that you won't F, you won't F breaking the culture. What the hell? You couldn't do it if you tried anyway. But what makes you think this person wants anything to do with you? You're just sick and you're disgusting. And this is what, let me see your handcuffs. Slides, she slides up under Dumpsy. After Dumpsy treated her like a dead dog, she goes and slides up under Dumpsy. Who, the, who has the problem? You have the problem. What woman? And I'm not calling you a woman, a female. I'll call you a female. Because certainly no woman would ever sit up under a man who said, look at that mouth on that woman. Look at that. She'll swallow a penis hole. And you're sitting up under his chat. You can't say shit about me. You can't say anything about any self-respecting woman. You don't meet the criteria. You're sitting up under a dude who ridiculed you for two hours discussing the contents of your toilet after you've gone and taken a feces dump. He's describing your shit in the toilet. He's saying you can shove a huge penis in your mouth. He's talking about you like a dead dog. And you're up there in his chat. You have the problem. You're not shutting anybody down. You can't shut down anybody's free speech rights. We are telling the truth about you. I got this audio right here. I'll play this audio. Do you want me to play the audio to show the world? You are a bald face liar. Keep on with your bullshit. You scrubbing your videos isn't helping. You're not going to prevail. You're just simply not. Listen, people. I'll play this audio. Let, let me see your handcuffs. Come on here one more time and say that we lied on you. I'm playing this shit. And everybody's going to hear exactly the crap that you've been doing to so many people. In the meantime, you want to get a good idea about other things that let me see your handcuffs has done to people? I'm going to be posting parts of Mookie's live stream. You'll see exactly what she does to other people. With Let Me See Your Handcuffs, she considered the sport. It was funny to her. She gets pleasure out of it. An immense amount of enjoyment out of doing these things. What she never, ever will ever want to accept or consider is that the targets have rights and the targets will exercise their rights. And that is nothing. Let Me See Your Handcuffs has any control over. I don't know who in the hell she practiced on. But there have been a lot of people around these YouTube streets who are far beyond fed up with your ass and they're not going to allow you to do what you did and get away with it. You have no reciprocal complaint, but you are welcome to file any and everywhere you want and see where it gets you. In the meantime, people, you have to know there is much more to come. Fire, beware.